Hi there, this is Lisa Marie Carvenen from craftycoding.com and I'm going to show you one way to fix the font problems in OpenCart software. Here's one of my content pages. As you can see, every paragraph here is slightly different from the one before. Now this is kind of a feature of OpenCart that you can specify what fonts you want to use, the fonts, the sizes and the colors um, from this editor. But the problem is that not everyone wants to use five different fonts in their product descriptions. Um, and also, when you're copying and pasting from things like Word documents, from websites, from presentations, it's going to copy into the page in the same font as the one that you copied it from. So this causes a big problem later on because you end up having pages and product descriptions that look like this, which is, again, it's fine if you want to be you want to have different fonts and different colors and whatever, that's that's your business, but I prefer to have my things to be uniform and I also like to have my styles defined in the style sheet as opposed to um, in the database because it adds extra code into there that you just, just messes everything up. Um, but usually with these kind of editors you have a button that clears all formatting. And this is a really useful button and for some reason they, they've left it out from this. I mean, I guess the reason is that they want to make it as easy as possible to use, so that's okay, but what about those of us who don't want to use this this kind of formatting style? Well, I found um, a way to ed edit this editor that will put the button back so that you can remove formatting. Um, and the way you do it is from this. Uh, you go into your FTP program, most people have one, um, basically you're just going to log into wherever your website is and then you're going to come into admin view javascript ck editor and this config js is the one that we want so you're going to edit that you can open it in notepad but i recommend notepad plus plus because it's really fast and it colors your code as well so it makes it a lot easier to find things so then you're going to scroll down and here is actually the custom toolbar that OpenCart uses. And this underneath here is the full toolbar, which OpenCart unfortunately does not use. Um, but usually there's a button here that will say, you know, open the kitchen sink, which then opens up all these options. But again, it's missing. Um, so the button that we want is this one here, remove format and it's in this undo section so you can see this undo section is right here um, okay so what we're going to do is copy it including the comma and then we're just going to paste it right into here and then save it and then my FTP program will let me upload it again and then you come in here and you can refresh the page. Okay, so now once I've refreshed the page, I have this new rubber button here in my undo section. Um, and the way you use it is you simply highlight the text that you want to change and you just click on the remove the formatting. You might want not want to do that for your headings, but um, for the rest of your, your text you most certainly will. Um, and that's everything is now now nice and uniform um, but because this has removed all the formatting from there it's going to take your formatting from the style sheet so after saving that and going back to the live view this is what it looks like um, all the formatting has been has been removed and now it's just taking it from the style sheet as a good website usually does <laughs> This config.js also contains a lot more buttons that you might want to take into use. For instance, I like the format button because that way I can define whether something is a header or not. Um, the current method that OpenCart uses is not particularly good, especially for search engine optimization um, because it doesn't tell the search engine whether it's a header or a footer. It's not semantic, um, but I, I like to use this one, so I'm going to put this one back. And you can take it back into use by simply copying it from the bottom and then adding it up here. And remember to put these commas in between these, these elements here or else it's not going to work. 
So upload that. And I'm going to just refresh this page. My headers at the moment are defined using this, but I'm just going to take, take away all formatting. And then now, I have my headings here for this one and probably use a heading too. And this makes your product descriptions and your pages much easier to maintain because there are a lot of span tags and things like that that uh, OpenCart uses. When you don't have these buttons, um, it uses these really bad tags that just mess can mess up very easily and mess up your site very easily. And so there we have it. Now we have headers and we don't have problems with fonts. Feel free to come and visit me at craftycoding.com and I'm always available for code modifications and for installations and pretty much anything. Thank you for watching.